Alrighty, well let's go ahead and get started with the demonstration. So here you can see I've downloaded my certificates from the Certificate Authority. I have my device certificate, my intermediate certificate, and then my root certificate. I also have that original key file that we had with the CSR file. So what we'll want to do is uh, take these three certs, device intermediate and root, and combine them into a single file. And we're going to call that one all-certs.pem. When you're opening up these pen files, if you do, uh, I would use WordPad rather than Notepad. It seems to open a little bit better. Um, the encoding goes through properly. So we'll simply copy and paste each one of those into a separate file called allcerts.pem. And I've already done that here, so we can take a quick look. You'll see here that I have my device certificate, my intermediate certificates in the middle, and then my root certificate that is this last cert here. And you have to ensure that we do it in this order or the chaining process will fail. So let's go ahead and close that out. Now let's save these two files because we're going to need these later, but first we need to open up uh, OpenSSL and get that downloaded and installed to our machine. So I'm just going to open up the IE window here. We'll browse on over to google.com. And let's try OpenSSL and then we'll search for the Windows port, which is on SourceForge, which is Win, or excuse me, New Win32. And we'll click our link here. And you'll see here the version. This is very important. We want to make sure we're running a version that's 0.9.8. Now, the letters are a little bit different at the end here. Um, I found that H works, but other versions will work as well, as long as we have 0.9.8. We'll scroll down. We can go ahead and choose a complete package, except source. It's set up. And proceed to download the package. Once it's downloaded, we'll run through the quick installer, and then I'll transfer those files over to the uh, new Win32 folder, and then we can go ahead and proceed with the chaining process in OpenSSL. So now let's go ahead and run. Run through the installer real fast. Okay, now that was successful. So what we're going to do is go ahead and copy over our two files, our allcerts.pem and my key file. And now let's go ahead and we'll browse over to that folder uh, where our program files are stored. So take a look there, and then we're actually just going to open up the new Win32 folder. And then within that is the bin folder, and that's where OpenSSL is going to be located. So you can see that here, and this is where we're going to want to drop our two files, that open, where OpenSSL is located, typically the bin folder. So we'll paste those files in. I'm going to go ahead and replace them since I already moved them over earlier. And now you see my key.pem and all certs.pem. Great. So now let's go ahead and open OpenSSL. We simply have to just go to Command Prompt. We'll browse over to the C drive, and we'll go C Program Files. Okay, and open SSL. Excellent. So you see the prompt there. I've gone ahead and prepped our commands that we're going to need. So we're going to copy and paste into the command line. Great. And you see loading screen into random state done. That means step one of the two commands are successful. Let's go ahead and try and issue the second one here. Mac verified OK. Good. So that indicates that this was a successful chaining and then our final cert was created successfully. So if you take a look in the directory where OpenSSL is located, you'll see one file in here and it's going to be called finalcert.pem. So what we want to do now that we've done this, we want to take this certificate, we're going to copy it here, and then just go on back over to our TFTP server and drop it into our TFTP root directory. Let me do that real fast. Great, so now we see that the cert is in our root. So from there, we want to go over to our wireless controller. We're all ready to download it to the controller, and we'll click the login button. We'll log in here. From here, you'll choose the security tab, and then web off, then certificate. Down at the bottom, you'll see download SSL certificate. So we'll want to go ahead and check that box, and you'll see a series of blanks here that will ask you questions regarding the installation of the certificate. 
So first thing is your server IP address, which it remembers from your last install. So this is going to be my server here. And my certificate file name is going to be final-cert.pem. And then the password here is going to be the password that was used for pass in and pass out from those previous OpenSSL commands. So in this case, it's going to be check123. Okay, great. So we have everything in place, and we're ready to go ahead and initiate the download to the controller. Now, one extra thing I want to do for us is show you a few debugs that we can run while we're doing this process in case you do run into any issues. Simply open up a putty session here. And we'll log into the controller. Okay, and the debug you'll want to run here is debug space transfer all enable. If I do a show debug, you'll see here we have transfer trace enable and we have transfer TFTP enabled. So these are two critical debugs that help us with any transfer of uh, files either upload or download to the wireless controller. You can use this just beyond the certificates. So let's go ahead and initiate that download now that we've set up our debugs. And to initiate that, you'll simply go to the top right hand corner and choose apply. If we pop on over to our debugs, we'll see that the transfer has already started. We connected to our host here, our server, and downloaded the file final certpem At the moment, we're installing a certificate. We use the password check123. And the certificate installed successfully, so now it's indicating that we must reboot the switch or reboot the wireless controller in order for it to take effect. So to do that, we'll just hop on over, back over to our wireless controller page. Scroll down and you'll see file transfer completed successfully. So we'll click here to reboot. Click the reboot button and then save and reboot. Hit OK. Please keep in mind that you will have to reboot the wireless controller in order for the certificate to take effect. Great. Well, this is the end of this part of the tutorial. Thank you so much.